A vibrant acknowledgement of the place we call home is cruising around the Twin Cities. Maybe you've seen it. A Metro Transit bus is covered from front to back in Native American artwork. The colors and figures serve as a cultural history lesson and story of the driver behind the wheel serves as a beautiful twist of fate. Here's Jeff Wagner. A Metro Transit bus passing by probably wouldn't have you doing a double take. They mostly look the same, other than a variety of advertisements on the side. All the more reason why this one, carrying an entire palette of colors, is turning heads. I didn't want it to be too saturated, but also colorful enough, so when people see it, they're like, whoa, I've never seen like a pink and purple pastel bus in my life. Marlena Miles is the Spirit Lake Dakota artist who turned public transportation into a moving mural with a message. We are on Dakota land. I wanted to show that, you know, Dakota people, we're still here. We're a vibrant culture. The colors are to represent that. The art was originally designed for signage at Ramsey County Parks, but Miles happily obliged Metro Transit's request to have it wrapped on a bus. To Dakota people, we used to paint over our teepees and tell stories that wrapped around the teepee. So I figured, you know, this is like a modern way of wrapping a design around an object that we use every day. The stories here include connections to wildlife. Traditionally, we transported ourselves all around using the horses. The earth. So we believe the plants are medicine that we can learn from them. And each other. Each of these colors can represent like the different ethnicities and cultures that come together that we learn from. Several drivers steer those stories across town. Kevin Montre was one of the first. This happened just by chance that I got this bus. It was already sent out on a route that day, so he had to find it to make a swap. As soon as I drove up to it, it was this art and it was native. It, it, it made me smile. Montre is Lakota and Anishinaabe. And touch me. So I just felt like, of course, it's me. He drove it to a celebration event for the bus where Miles was waiting. He comes up and tells me that you know, he's Lakota too. And she said, of course, you're the one who brought the bus. Because in our Indian ways, we don't believe in coincidence. Montre believes fate put him behind the wheel, an opportunity to honor his heritage that was a long time coming. For me, because I learned my ways older in life, I never learned them as a kid because my mom and dad grew up in the time to be ashamed of Indian. And so it was a time for me to be, have pride. It was good for me to know that the person driving this bus, you know, is feeling empowered because of it. Her artwork combined with Montre's energy feels like a match made in heaven, or in this case, on the land their ancestors once called home. We're finally a people that used to be invisible and now we're visible. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. If you want to see the bus or learn which route it's on for the day, a website tracks its location and we can link you through WCCO.com.